Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm your marketing lady, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your domain over from GoDaddy to Bluehost. It's really easy, so stick with me. <laughs> First thing you're going to want to do is log into your GoDaddy account. Once there, you will hover over domains and let's click on manage. Once you're on manage, click the domain that you want to uh, create a name server for. That's what they call it, a name server. Make sure that you click this little arrow right here and we're going to click on set name servers. Now we're going to change this from standard over to custom. And then let's click add name server. Now the name servers for Bluehost are pretty standard. You're going to type in ns1, uh -oh, one, dot Bluehost. Dot com. Just copy this, paste it on here, and we'll change this to NS2. And let's hit OK. Now we'll hit Save. And you see it says uh, Set Name Servers. Your request has been submitted. Changes may take a few moments to take effect. Usually it takes anywhere from about four minutes on up to a few hours. So hang tight. We're going to go over to Bluehost and I'll show you how we'll make sure that we put my new website on the Bluehost server. Okay, now I'm logged in on Bluehost. So hopefully you are too. Let's click on Domains. Now that we're here, I'm going to click Assign a Domain to your cPanel. Now I'm going to enter the domain name. It's create, oops, a website 101. Create a website 101. Now I'll click enter. Okay, so it wants me to type it without the www, so make sure you do that. <laughs> it's gonna take a moment to, do, uh, to basically verify the domain. Now I've already verified the ownership. It didn't even take five minutes for that to happen. I'm gonna click here. I'm not gonna park the domain. I'm gonna add it on. This is gonna give me the ability to make it look like an entirely different website address, which is exactly what I want. Um, the subdomain, it's gonna create the uh, public HTML file. Again, create a website 101. I'll just click assign this domain. Sometimes this can take a moment and if it keeps spinning up here, we're gonna probably just go back to domains and it should be set up. I'm not, that seems like some type of glitch. I don't know why that happens. So now you can see it's been created here and it's an add-on. That's how you transfer your domain from GoDaddy to Bluehost. It's really that easy. If this helped you out, can you please hit that like and subscribe button? I'm your marketing lady. I'll see you next time.